pulling on a cigarette He's in the skies deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel, everybody. I'm Chef Andy. Today we're doing a DIY project. The uh, DIY flavor that we're going to be building the recipe off of is Berry Blast Off. This is a concentrate. Uh, this came out with the kit that I reviewed from Central Vapors uh, not that long ago. Uh, and if you saw that video, uh, that's great because that should give you a head start on where we're going in this video. So this video is going to have two separate parts, all right? The first part, we're going to build the recipe. I'm going to give you a few helpful hints that's going to help you quicken things up and get more experience and help you to enjoy your vapes with a higher quality and a little bit quicker than the standard seven days of steeping. Uh, if you follow the way I go, you can get that down to about a three and a half day, which gets you vaping on that wonderful flavor uh, that you're looking forward to trying. Again, this is Berry Blast Off. It's a concentrate put out by Central Vapors, who sent me a DIY kit uh, here earlier in the week. Now, I will share with you, I'm going to pull this off the lid just to get ready, um, that, yes, they sent me the all the stuff that I needed. Propylene, glycol, bleh. Boom. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I get a little tongue-tied. So we got propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin. Um, we also have nicotine that they sent. All right. And if you watch that other video, then you know I talked extensively about nicotine and making sure that uh, your hands and everything are covered up. Uh, you can see on my hands right now I'm wearing uh, nitrile gloves. Uh, nicotine in small doses definitely has some medical benefit but you know the the fact of the matter is if you put too much on your skin you could get very sick and possibly die so this is the part where I slow it down and look at you real clearly in the camera and say don't mess around with the nicotine I use a program a calculator called eJuice Me Up it tells me exactly how much of my nicotine to put in um, the only thing that they didn't include in that kit uh, that I got was sweetener but that's okay I'll go ahead and make a video up separately and I will share with you on how to make a sweetener out of stevia or Splenda uh, it can easily be done um, now I have everything here lined out that uh, Central Vapors gave me but I will share also that I already had some other product uh, here and I want to use that up before opening up another bottle just to make sure that it's sealed, stays fresh. Run through your older product first before you open new bottles. So what I like to do, and this is going to be a nice pictorial for you, I pulled these out for a reason. What I do, this is, this is a bottle right here, 250 mil, wrong camera, sorry guys. Uh, you can see I've sharpened everything on here. It's a 50-50 blend of your propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin so that 250 mil bottle we put in the e calculator half of it is propylene glycol half of it is going to be your vegetable glycerin also i'll probably have to put a real label on there but i use uh three percent nicotine i should say three milligram nicotine by volume also, I use 1% sweetener, and I build all that up into this 250 ml uh, bottle, and there's no flavoring in there, but what that does is it helps you to get your base steeping, and I do this a couple times a month. It's got the uh, rotating cap on, off, or open and close, I should say, but I get this going like this. This way, all I need to know is how much flavor for the bottle that I'm going to build up, and then I can just go ahead and fill the rest of it up with this. And again, it shortens your steeping time, uh, along, when, along with when I get through with this recipe, uh, I'm going to show you a few other tips to help quicken up that pace. All right, so now that we know that everything in here 
is already where you want it to be. 50-50 blend, PG to VG, 3 milligram nicotine by volume, 1% sweetener, 250 milligram, uh, milliliter bottle. The recipe that we're going to build out is going to be half that size, and it's going to be in a bottle like this. Also, <clears throat> pardon me, with a rotating cap open and close, this is a 125 milliliter bottle, and I build the bigger bottles typically when I have some more my my more memorable, favorite, tasting, palate, stomping flavors up, that I make them bigger like this uh, so that they last a, a, long, a longer period of time and you're not, you know, stuck making 30 milligram, uh, sorry man, I'm just really doing tight, 30 milliliter bottles. Uh, typically, I'll build 10 milliliter or 30 just to taste test. And then when I decide that I really like something, then I'll bump it up and make a bigger bottle. Um, again, we're using the Berry Blast Off by Central Vapors. This is a 30 milliliter bottle uh, of concentrate. Now, I built up my recipe, put it into the calculator, and it says that I need um, 18 milliliters of the flavoring. All right. Keep in mind, we're building a bigger bottle. So it's going to use a little bit more, but look at the difference in size compared to, let's say, let me get into the pantry here. Let's get another little tincture. Let me put this down. So here's a 30 milliliter bottle. And here you can see the 125. So this basically fills up about three to four of those bottles right there. And again, I only do that with my fave flavors, all right? Now, because we're using a bottle that's really great for filling up your tanks, but it's kind of small here, um, so I'm going to use, instead of using a syringe, I'm going to use an alternate method of, of uh, getting to where I need. I'm going to use, I have a lot of labware, which includes beakers uh, with the milliliters, so I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this down in here. We're going to fill this up, and then we'll put the flavoring into the uh, bottle there. This happens to be a 10 milliliter beaker, all right, which is no problem. Now you can see why I did that. That way I just squeeze it down in here. So the first will be 10. Oh, I think I should back up real quick and let you know that when I do these flavors uh, on, on fruit, I typically will run at about a 15%. And here's, here's why. Uh, and I mean, 15% of this total bottle. Again, if you have the calculator, uh, just pop your numbers in, hit calculate, it'll tell you. But I like to run it at 15%, and this is why. Having more flavoring doesn't equal better taste. Um, so when I run at 15%, with, with fruit flavors, you could run from like about a 10 to a 20%. I like to go in the middle at 15, and here's why. I'll underfill this bottle just just a little uh, so that when it's in here I have a little wiggle room if I find out that the flavor is not exactly where I want it to be so if I want to add another percent or two I can play with my recipe a little bit now I wouldn't play with it too much especially with nicotine but you know you leave yourself a little room and that way you can adjust the taste there is no one two vapor alike so leave yourself just a small amount of wiggle room and then uh, when you go to taste it, uh, figure out, you know, hey, you can figure out if that's not enough or it was perfect. And you can just fill the rest of the little bit there of, of uh, the BGPG. I hope that makes sense to you. So, again, we put our beaker up to 10 milliliters. We're just going to pour that right down in here. All right. And for this recipe, we needed 18. So we're going to go ahead and put another 8. All right, that's at 15%, and again, that gives me that little up to if I need it, not, I don't, you know, only if you need it. It gives me up to another 5% that I can go, but I would just do like a percent at a time, but it gives me that little bit, little bit of wiggle room, kind of like when you're cooking in the kitchen. If you need to add a little more salt, a little bit more spice, you can do that. So never think that you're just going to go head over heels filling 
up to the brim and more, no. Keep it judicious, show some restraint, and then you can find out where that wiggle room is. And then the next time around, as long as you're using the same, uh, and I will say from manufacturer to manufacturer, sometimes some concentrates are a little bit stronger or not as strong. That's another good reason uh, to make sure you leave yourself some wiggle room and just kind of go middle of the road. All right, so now we're putting that other eight in there. Okay, I promised I was going to show you a shortcut. All right, now the flavor is in there. If you'll notice over here, I have a bowl of soapy water. The reason for that, boom, check it out right there. It's going right in that soapy water. We got a place for it to go. We're going to go ahead and cap back up this concentrate. And again, I showed you the nicotine, the sweetener, and the propylene glycol, and the vegetable glycerin. I already built a bottle up with all my percentages, so all I had to do was put my flavor in there. I think you can kind of see that. See that right there? All right, now all I have to do is fill it up the rest of the way with this that's been steeping already for about a week. All right, just take in and uh, screw open. And we're going to just come over the top, right into that bottle. Again, no syringe needed here because it's already built up. Now, the base of it, like I said, has already been steeping. No problem. Now, you just need to give a few days for that flavor. All right. Remember what I said about leaving yourself a little room? Look at the top there. You see that? Now you can safely add a percent or two if you need to, only if you need to. Uh, you can leave yourself a little bit of room so you can top it off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put on, again, I love these tops, the, the, uh, the, uh, the screw open and screw close lids, uh, simply because it minimizes, I tend to drop things or spill things, I'm really a klutz, and it tends to save me more of my uh, product with these type of lids rather than other types of lids. See this one here, I can just drop it like that, nothing spilling out uh, compared to other types of lids. I, I just, it's terrible. So I went to these. All right, so I'm gonna put that PGVG sweetener nicotine over there and check it out. We're already done building that recipe. I wanted to give you a few extra tips just to kind of get you going through that. Hopefully, if you get used to this system right here. Uh, now, keep in mind one last thing. Um, my, I have a few of these bottles, okay? Uh, I always go 3 milligram nicotine by volume, but I do have one other bottle that has no nicotine, which I tend to vape on at night so it doesn't mess with my sleep. I have another bottle that's also... 70 30 uh, VG to PG, 1% sweetener, and uh, the 3 milligram nicotine by volume. And that's because there are some concentrates where a 50 50 might not be the best balance. So you might want to build up a couple of these bottles, uh, and then once you get experienced enough to know your recipes, you can know which bottle to use. And then there's a few recipes, they're, they're far and few between, where I use 100% VG. That type of thing. The last thing you need to do is, I'll do mine after we turn off the video here, but I have some labels. I got these at Staples. Um, you can get them at Office Depot or any kind of office. You're, I'm sorry, I keep ignoring this camera. Uh, uh, but make sure you write everything out. So that way, say you give a bottle away or somebody comes over and you say, hey, it's over in my cupboard. They know what they're grabbing and it knows exactly, uh, it's kind of like the MSDS labels. They know exactly what they're picking up because some people, believe it or not, have some uh, food allergies to propylene glycol uh, if it's used too much. Sometimes, especially with heavy or nicotine, it creates more of that throat tickle that is kind of reminiscent of when you smoked but some people it, it kind of it can give them a little bit of a rash and stuff like that so make sure you label your product store it appropriately in a cool dark consistent uh, temperature 
And uh, what the last thing is that I want to say about this right here is the base is steeped. Now we've added the flavor. But what I'm going to do is create a warm bath out of another Tupperware like this and fill it with hot water. We don't want it boiling. We're not trying to cook it. We just want to make sure that those uh, different chemicals kind of slam into each other, marry up well, and give it the best possible opportunity to taste great. Um, again, I, I wouldn't take boiling water or anything like that. Just turn your faucet on to the hot. You know, fill up your Tupperware if it's something like this about halfway. Put that in there. I do that about twice, and then I let it sit for about three and a half days, and I find that uh, that is right on par with uh, just letting it steep for seven days. Uh, you'll you'll see a little bit of a color change and all that. Um, so anyway, that's it. That is a, a, a quick, easy, easy peasy little build of a recipe. Um, I know that I jumped around on a lot of different topics. Last thing is last. I'm going to take these off, throw them in my trash over here. Do not reuse your gloves. Uh, make sure that you wash down your surface. So this will be washed down. I always carry towels. I carry paper towels uh, in case of any spillage. But make sure that you're, you're all uh, good on your surfaces and everything else. If you guys have any questions, please like, subscribe. M my banner is down below. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm my verbal dyslexia twitching again. Uh, if the email, my email is on there. If you need to send me uh, a question and you don't want to post it in the comments for all the world to see, by all means, I always get back to people. Uh, you know, about in about uh, if not sooner, but no more than about a business day, one business day. Um, by all means, I, and if you have feedback, please offer it. I, I all the tips and feedback we're here to share. Anyway, um, I think that's about it for this video. When we come back, I will post another video, and uh, I'll put the spec text down below, but what we'll do is we'll do a review of the taste and get into that side of it. Thanks for joining me. Let's get out of here in our typical juicy vapor style. Later. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.